In this video, we are going to prove that any line tangent to a circle is going to be perpendicular to the radius that connects the center of the circle to the point of tangency. And to do this, we're going to use something called an indirect proof. Now, indirect proofs are a little funky because you have to temporarily assume that whatever you're trying to prove is wrong and that the opposite is true. And then you have to work down your logic until you get to a point where you contradict yourself. And then once you contradict yourself, you say, well, that's ridiculous. What we temporarily assumed was one way must be the opposite. So it's kind of crazy, but let's give it a try. So we're going to temporarily assume that QP is not perpendicular to line L. Now, remember, any if you're trying to find the distance between a point and a line, the shortest distance is always the perpendicular distance. So it's always the line segment that's perpendicular to that line that passes through that point. So that's going to be key here. So if QP is not perpendicular, then there must be some point R where we have this segment QR that is perpendicular. And then QR must be the shortest distance between point Q and the line. So that means that if QR is the shortest distance, then QR must be less than QP. The length of QR must be less than QP. So you have to be really organized here. So again, since we temporarily assumed QP is not perpendicular to L, then there must be a segment QR that is perpendicular to L, and then QR must be the shortest distance between Q and the line. Therefore, QR must be less than QP. Well, let's see if that would make sense or if there's some way that we can contradict that statement. Well, if we think about that, the definition of a tangent line, that means it can only touch the circle once. So if P is the only point where it touches the circle, that means that R must be exterior to the circle Q. It has to be outside of it. So then that means that segment QR must pass through the circle and then here I'm going to call that point that it passes through X. Huh. And QR must be greater than QX because X is between Q and R. But now let's take a look. QX is a radius and QP is a radius and all radii of a circle are congruent. So that means that QP must be equal to QX. Well, if QX is less than QR and QX equals QP, then that must mean, through substitution, that QP is less than QR. Or in other words, QR must be greater than QP. Well, wait, that is the opposite of what we said in step two. So there is our contradiction. We can't start the logic with one statement and then prove the opposite. So now that we're at a contradiction, then that means that our temporary assumption is wrong and that the opposite must be true. And there you have it. We've indirectly proven that a line tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius extended from the center of the circle to the point of tangency.